Hello and welcome back to another Never Stop Gaming Server edition video, uh, episode, uh, yeah, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, actually, you guys can see that out there, can't you? That's the start of the iron farm. Ah, uh, looks a little low to me, but you know, what do I know? So this is my second attempt at recording this one. My first attempt, for whatever reason, perhaps decided to record to the wrong hard drive, got full, and said, Pfft. So I lost about half my video. So, um, as you guys can see, I've started the chandelier. Uh, it's not enough light. We get baddies spawning down there, so. Move the bed up here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't remember if this was done last time, but I've worked on this area a bit. So, I moved the enchanting table up here. Well, I recreated the enchanting table because I don't have a silk touch pick yet. So, and this is a mob grinder. Now, this concept it was shown to me by Game the Day Away today. He took me out to his base and showed me his. And I think it matches more with what the tower is going to look like than the one I was going to do. This one becomes more of a cylinder shape, which will match the overall look of the, of the tower. Which, by the way, has a name, but I'll show that to you in a minute. So there's Spawn City, our Spawn Village. Optifine, you gotta love it. So, Kid was on, we were having some fun on the last one. Um, unfortunately, all that's gone. Thank you, Fraps. Actually, it's me. I should have checked which hard drive it was storing to. I did not. I tried doing footage earlier of... Uh, game the day away when I went out there to see his thing and I just thought I hadn't hit the button is why it wasn't recording it recorded to the wrong hard drive and it stopped and hang on okay There are certain things I really dislike about Fraps, and one of them's default when it goes to move them down to four gigabyte chunks, it really makes editing hard. But I added on this hallway out here, this this staircase, because I I tried putting them in the tower. They just don't look right. Added a uh, fountain to the bottom so I can just drop down. I didn't do it this time because I wanted to show you guys the staircase. You won't see it again unless I make changes, so enjoy it. I've done jack o' lanterns down below with oak leaves to try and get rid of these. And this is the garden. Nice, tranquil, peaceful, solitude. Ah. And I took the, I remembered and I put down the first set of armor there. The date I retired it. Here's my deaths. Now I've got two more to add from today. Lag ended up killing me while I was working on the mob grinder, which is why I'm not really working on it right now. So, and I sort of did this out of order on the last video. Here's the drop-off chest when you come in from out there you just drop off your stuff here and it goes into I'm sure some of you guys have already seen it a massive sorting system so ah, I didn't realize how much iron this thing would cost me I've gone through about Six stacks, seven stacks of iron for all this, but I've gotten all the way up to the iron one working. And 
I've even included the automatic furnace in it. So what it'll do is it'll come through over from the drop-off chest. It'll come over and say, okay, do you have gold? No. Do you have iron? Yep, okay, iron goes here. And it'll drop it into the furnace. The only thing I can't get it to automate is the lava buckets. That's okay. We'll just put them in here. No biggie. Um, I am going to have one coming up from the uh, the mines down below. I'm just, I'm, I need ice for it. And speaking of that, I did find another wart too, by the way. Speaking of that, there's nothing's changed downstairs. I did find an ice spike biome. It is roughly 10,000 blocks from where we stand right here. I had built a tunnel in the nether leading there. Well, because we've got some thieves on the server, for whatever reason, the nether was reset. And all that work I did in the nether, we're talking 1,300 plus blocks of tunnel I had to dig one direction and 500 another direction, it's all gone. But it's like I told Justin, I'll work on it another day. I'm not going to work on it today. So it's it's been one of those days. I was going to record earlier. I didn't. Re I wasn't able to. So. And then this is my second attempt at this. I got Lady Lou mad at me because I messed up. I didn't let her know I was recording, and I sort of gave her. Uh, an evil response and she was just asking a question so it's my fault it's my fault I admit it don't I and I admitted it to YouTube too so but the hobbit hole is over here I told you guys I would find it and I would show it to you now as soon as I stopped recording last time totally toasted requested uh, pumpkins and rather than take the extra time it would take to try and find him he just gave me the coordinates I came out here dropped off the pumpkins looked at the hobbit hole bada bing bada boom I am going to show you the outside from a cross the river distance close enough that you can see some details see but I noticed he's added on some things and I don't want to showcase his place unless I know he's put it in video so hello over there see he's added some back here so we'll take a look at it next time when I see when I can confirm that he's already shown it then I'll show it so, but until then, I'm not going to do it. Oops, need food. So, but with the thieves on the server, it's been making things a little bit more difficult. People have been stealing ender chests. Of all things, an ender chest. Why would you take an ender chest? I don't necessarily understand that, but okay. Ah, <sighs> weird, weird people. So, also, I ran across a couple uh, branch mine shafts when I was down mining that were totally dark. And it really annoys me. Why would you go mining without lights, without torches? Why would you leave that stuff unlit? I mean, it, it makes a place for mobs to spawn. It can screw up any mob grinder above it, and it's rather like cheating. Yeah, sure, you turn the gamma up on your screen so you can see all that stuff, but here's the kicker. Part of the game is lighting up your path so mobs don't get you. If you're running around with your gamma up way high, then, well, in my opinion, you're not playing the way you should be playing. 
and it leaves questions. Temporary bridge to Makshushi and Cinderstorm. Okay. I'm assuming that's what that is. Of course, I'm probably wrong. They'll correct me if they watch my videos, which they should be. So. But as you can see, the tower looks pretty good at night. This is... Rubble with no pulse. Uh, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Used to be known as X-Play. What was formerly known as X-Play? There we go. We'll put a little Prince spin on that. And the a man from UK or something like that. <laughs> Sorry guys, my brain's not working 100% right now. So, but there you go. I need to put some lights. Those are just jack-o'-lanterns down in the ground on the other side. I guess I didn't mention the tree on this one in the courtyard. I've changed. And Tower Memmerstein, named by Bambino. I feel like I'm just rambling really fast and looking at the time. I think I'm talking a lot faster than I normally would. Poor man's tree farm. I've moved the cows, the wheat, added some pumpkins, and kind of made a derelict looking courtyard with a big old tree. Now I may hollow this out, put something in it, I haven't decided yet. Honestly I'm not sure it's big enough to put much in there, but I can always put something in the basement of it. Let's come over to kids place real fast. Cause I think we're gonna end at spawn spawning village. Blocks, items. And as I said in the last video, blocks are items. Chanting room or uh recess and furnaces. I'm wondering if he's got a fetish for furnaces. Hmm. And let's go upstairs. Bed, chest, bedroom. Uh, balcony. I didn't look in back last time. Let's go out and look in back real fast. Here's the backyard. Ooh, kind of nice actually. <coughs> like tiki torches. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Okay, actually we may be doing really good on this video, time time wise. Now I, I was thinking about it, I think I'm going to make like a showcase Sunday or something. Where I just, I spend the whole day showcasing what's changed. And then I'll do updates to what I've been working on the other days, like the tower. See, I think it's going to look really good. I, I really do. We'll see. I may have to change a few things on it. Ooh, hello. Come here. Come on. Come to daddy. Yeah. I don't need the string. But this is... Polt's place. He watched the video last time. He didn't get upset. He just he corrected the way I was saying his name. He said it's Pol with a T-S, so it's Polt's. And I'm not going to go in because I don't know if he's changed anything. So we're going to see. I haven't been out there yet. I need to. Or I haven't been out there in a while. I need to though. And I'm, I am really curious about this. I don't think it's done yet. But I think it's getting close. Oh, no, don't touch me. Oh, you touched me. So, as you can see, there's some work being done on it. Not quite sure why we have a whole nother section here, but okay. And there's sheep here too. Cool. Die! Thank you. Don't touch me. 
See, people aren't filling in their creeper holes or anything. I mean, it's it's actually kind of annoying. And I've noticed, and it really bugs me, when you harvest from somewhere, replant the stuff. My gosh, that's so annoying. It doesn't take but a second. I went down to my nether wart. Someone had... They'd only taken a few. But it's the fact that they took a few and didn't replant any. That annoys me. Here's the zombie farm. I went down there. It's nice. It's kind of cool. But honestly... Eh... It was very slow and very cumbersome for me. Hence that. Now with the nether reset, I've had to go back in. I'm going to have to rebuild that tunnel. I had to rebuild the... The walls around the nether portal as well. Because... It was open. It was wide open. And gas were shooting in there. And you guys know. Well, maybe you don't, but... A gas can deactivate the portal if it hits, if it's explosion hits the portal right. And if you don't have flint and steel, you're stuck. Unless, of course, there's another portal. Then you have to hope it's close enough that you don't run out of food or anything when you're going back. So, uh, but all in all, I believe that's all that's really happened. Oh, yes. I don't think you guys can see it. I'm going to have to go outside. Hello. I put all the sugar cane down here. I need to change out the torch and put a jack-o'-lantern down here along the wall. This is the retaining wall that I was talking about last time. And then I put a like a drain pipe, a sewage drain here. Kind of like. I like the concept. You don't need to be here because I put those there. Um, so other than that, guys, I think that's about it for today. Honestly, I mean, I need to put some jack-o'-lanterns on this side. I think you guys can see the dirt pillar there from where I fell. Lag killed me twice. I dug out the dirt. I went up there looking for my two picks. I lost two picks out of all this. I, I pillared up to see if I could see the picks on the side of the tower. And when I was coming back down, I destroyed one block of dirt. It put me on the next block. And then that block appeared again and it pushed me off. Yeah. So, and up in the... Up there, I placed a block, block, got onto it. Then the block disappeared and I fell. So, on that note, guys, I don't think there's anything else really to show you today. So, I'm going to go ahead and head out, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, take care, and peace.